Hi friends! It's Pi Day, March 14th, and today I'm going to read a book called Happy Pi Day to You. It's from the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library, and it's all about measuring circles. Happy Pi Day to You by Bonnie Worth. Hooray for Pi Day! Would you like to find out just what this day means, what Pi is all about? It's all about circles and measuring fun. So put on your pie hats. Let's start, everyone. We begin with a circle, the shape of a pie. Look around you and name all the circles you spy. Yes, circles surround us wherever we are, from pennies to pizzas to wheels on a car. Some circles we see look pretty flat. But other ones look a bit different than that. You'll find circles and cylinders, like this tube that is blue. And spheres, like this ball, have a circle shape too. To draw a flat circle, one of my best tricks, all you need is some string and a couple of sticks. Tie the string to two sticks, now plant one in the ground. Use the other to poke lots of dots all around. A circle's a shape made dot after dot equal distance away from one middle spot. Link the dots and you'll get a word of great size. Say circumference. It may take a few tries. Cut the circle in half with a single straight line. That line is called diameter. Can you draw one like mine? The length of the strings there beneath Sally's hand measures half the diameter. Do you understand? We call this radius. Mark it with a little r. Are you getting all this? Are you with me so far? Now take the circumference, oh, let's call it big C, and divide by diameter, which we will call little d. How do you divide? You're a smart one to ask. I have a new trick that will help with the task. Take a tube made of cardboard, just like this one, and then a wide piece of ribbon and your marking pen. Wrap the ribbon round the tube and mark the length with a C. Then lay it across the top and mark that length with D. Measure out three D lengths and then you will see three folds of D lengths plus a bit more equals C. No matter what the size your tube is, I bet three links plus a bit more is the answer you'll get. C divided by D equals three whole times plus. That's division for you. You can take it from us. This number that is a bit more than three is long, so we give it a short name, you see. We call it pi, a name short and sweet because writing it out is a difficult feat. The number goes on and on, as you see. In fact, it goes on until infinity. Another name that folks have used to call pi is irrational or crazy, and now you know why. We can spell the word pi with a P and an I, or else use a mark. Let's give it a try. The mark looks like this. It's from long, long ago. It's the Greek letter pi, a good symbol to know. Symbols are marks that you'll see all around that stand for a thing or an action or sound. The pie game. First, draw four lines, two toothpick links apart. Second, randomly scatter the toothpicks. Third, separate and count all toothpicks touching a line. Divide the total number of toothpicks by the number of toothpicks touching a line. The result closest to pi, 3.14, wins. C, circumference, divided by D, diameter, is a theorem, we say. What's that, you ask? I'll explain if I may. Theorem's a word that smart people like you can use to describe an idea that's true. C divided by D equals pi, as you see, 
forever and always, this will always be. On Pi Day, it is a good bit of fun to honor Pi pioneers and all they have done. Did cave people measure? They took a wild guess. I do that myself. Sometimes I'll confess. <laughs> when people began to build and to trade, universal measurements had to be made. A universal measurement, as I understand, is one that is shared throughout the land. Egyptians measured with cubits, a unit that goes from the middle fingertips to the crease of the elbows. But since arm lengths differed, they learned the neat trick of making a universal, universal measuring stick. Using pi to measure, they built pyramids for tombs, the secret passageways, and underground rooms. In 250 BC, a Greek good at math put on his pie hat and went down the pie path. Ancient Greeks loved their circles. Using pie, they built lots of arches and arenas in big public spots. It's people like these who gave pie its start. They've helped us to be so much smarter than smart. We're feeling so smart and so happy. I'll say to one and all, thank you, pioneers. Have a happy Pi Day. All right, friends, thanks for reading with me. I hope you have a great Pi Day and eat lots of pie, pizza pie, fruit pie, and you can always measure that pie using the value 3.14, which is pie. <laughs> See y'all later, thank you.